Hey, what's going on YouTube Universe? Welcome back to another episode of Auction Life. And this is part three of the storage unit auction. More of the unboxing. Um, as you can see, I have my trash totes ready. I took the recycling from, yes, from the last section yesterday and got rid of it. We have our table set up. And this is what we have left. Actually, this is... Oh, got a bug in front of me. This is another empty set of totes from yesterday. So, this is what we have left. I mean, you can see it goes all the way back. There's some bags back there. There's some more boxes. There's some more totes buried. You'll see there's more stuff down there. There's more totes to go through. Um, we're already way above the $30 that we paid. Um... So, let's see what we can find today. My goal is to find some more collectibles and maybe some, uh, I don't know, maybe money. I'd like to just find money. Money would be cool. But collectibles are stuff we can put in the booth. So, let's get into it. Uh, let's see. We should go with, I guess we'll just go right down this row and start working our way back into that corner. So we're gonna pull that. We got this nice little step ladder that's ready to go to the flea. All the stuff that we're boxing up for the flea market is going in the truck. These are the last two totes from yesterday that were boxed for the flea market. So yeah, we got a nice little step ladder. Let's get this box. All right, I am going to put you down, and we will start working on this box. Let's see what we got in here today. Okay. A hodgepodge of money. Empty. Got a money box. This would actually be good for the flea market for uh, keeping all our money in there. Here's some hats. We got a Seussical, the musical hat. Dr. Seuss hat. That's pretty stained up. We got a Walt Disney, Mickey Mouse, Pluto. A hat. A Disney, Disney's environmentality hat. Cool. Mardi Gras trucker hat. Bacardi hat. this guy out here. We got a I need a hub. It's kind of like a little metal thing that you spin. We got a little jack-in-the-box bear. That's kind of cool. From the Bonton. I wonder if he pops up. Hey, Jack in the Box Bear. That's kind of cool. An actress sign. We got some CD cases. Crazy Frog. These are all empty, though, I think. Yeah, empty. I don't know. Maybe we'll find the CDs later. Oh. Yay, what is that? We'll get to the, you know what? We're going to get to these jewelry boxes last. Take those out. we got two wooden boxes. Oh. Got my new hat. We got a little bag here. Piece of an angel thing there. That's kind of cool. This is... No, like this is Lennox. That's a Lennox candle, brand new in the box. That's a good piece. Winnie the Pooh hat. Winnie the Pooh hat. We got this little Easter flower pot thing. That's kind of cool. Got a 
thing for soap. Another CD case. This is a bunch of pins, maybe? That's what it kind of looks like, yeah. Oh, they worked at the gap. Um, that's a one year gap pin. There's some Garden and Angel pin. These are all pins and stuff. Little wooden stick. 21 shot glass. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Allergies are killing me today. Uh oh. This is. This is a wedding decoration, has her name on it. Oh boy. Pooh Bear ears. This is the other half of a stick. Wooden block with the person's name on it. Winnie the Pooh light stick thing that don't work. We got a little... Couple little keychains. Planet Hollywood magnet. Another Disney Disney magnet. That was four bucks. More keychains. What's that do? Whoa. That I don't know what the hell that is. That's that's taser? I don't know. I'm not gonna play with it. And we got a Rudolph nose. And a little wooden like an incense thing. Alright, 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 alright. Thanks for a job well done. It's Mickey! That's pretty cool. Little Mickey. Alright guys. Now, I'm going to bring you over here. Go through these two boxes. Let's see if we can find anything good. Let's do this. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. My mother told me to pick the very best one, and you are it. So we're going with this guy. It's a very cool box. Pennsylvania Dutch Country. I think they probably added this paper to it. Alright. Let's see what we got here. We got a Dalmatian pin. Oh, we got some coins. Spanish real coin of the error. Limited edition commemorative. So Spanish coins. Oh, what do we got? We have a... Mickey Mouse Steamboat Willie pin. That's kind of cool. Environmentality begins with you. Earth Day 2003. More pins. Disney Store. Sisters in Spirit. This is kind of looking like all pins and buttons. There's another Disney Store pin. Bah humbug. Take that one out of there. Goodbye, bouncer 21. Hello, bartender. There's some guardian angel things. Another. What's that? I don't know. One of those. Some ribbon. Pocket reminders. This is looking like all little pins. Flattened pennies. Oh, there's a key. We might need that key later. We'll see if we find something that works that key. Crayola factory. This looks just like a bunch. Oh, and more keys. This looks just like a bunch of tokens. Crayola factory tokens. Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Okay. All right. Well, that was uneventful. That was uneventful. I mean, there's some cool buttons, and these coins are kind of cool. But, that's one box. Oh, don't forget Bah Humbug. 
All right, let's see what's in this box. Okay. picture frame with nothing in it that's a cool little frame it's very small very small that's kind of neat that might actually be silver what should we go for next let's do the one we can see we got a little these are a little clicker frogs and this is that gold? I'm gonna have to test that. That might be gold. This might be gold. I don't know. We're gonna the clasp looks a little chintzy. Uh, at that. There's some jewelry there. Let's go with this one. Let's see. High tech. That's what's on there. Oh, hey now. That's more keys. There's a lock. A crystal. That might be gold as well. Because it's not real tarnished. And here's a very small glass little cross. That I'm going to have to do. All these I'll look at and see if I can find any markings on them. I don't know what that could be. I think it's probably going to be a... I'm going to say another lock. Ooh, got a ring. Uh, let's see. Off of first impressions, it looks like the hasp is a little... That's a little janky. I don't see any markings. But that's going to get tested as well. And we got this cute little bag. There's something in there. All right. I'm going to have to try and get this open with one hand. Um, let's see if we can put you down here. Get this little baggie open. my fingers in there but I am gonna dump it. So let's see what we got ready. We got a ring. Ooh this is a class ring. Whoa okay cool. These are not cheap. Oh there it is. Can you see that in there? 10 carat. 10 carat gold. Awesome. I want to cover up the person's name if it's on there. But there's a stone in there and everything. That is cool. Oh, wow. That paid for the unit right there. Plus. So, depending on how much gold that actually... How much of that is actually gold. We may have hit a pretty good score. That's why you got to go through every box. Every little bag. Every little doodad. So, I'm going to go back. Pack this stuff up. And then we'll get another box. But that is awesome. That is a score. Alrighty. I'll be right back. Alright, this is odd. Um, it is a tote full of newspapers. It must be significant for some reason. Oh, there's September 11th. September 12th. September 12th. September 12th. This is all probably September 11th stuff. Hmm. That one probably has personal significance for her. September 12th. Wow, these are all over the country. September 19th. September 19th. I don't know if all of these have personal significance to her or what. Um, the day after... This 
is all old newspaper from, I don't know, September 17th. Possibly, um, for like a week, I guess they were, maybe they had someone that, uh, was involved in that and they wanted to keep the story but that's a lot of newspaper these are in bags hmm I don't know anyway these uh I don't know what I'm gonna do with a bunch of newspaper that was loud so I don't know if I'm gonna keep these or not I'll have to look into it to see if they're actually worth saving but I don't know we shall see I'm gonna take a look and see what I find There's three boxes I opened while you well, I wasn't taping and they were basically marked exactly what they were uh, cookbooks and stuff like that and make sure I'm in a good spot. Um, there was one box of stuffed animals and unfortunately stuffed animals are not what they used to be. Oh, you know. Okay. This box is marked knickknacks. Hearts and stars, that's kind of neat. Um, we have a picture frame with an old picture of a family photo in it. We've got some cardboard separating it. We have a mesh, it's an angel ornament. You can really see that. Here is a Jesus picture, which this is like some Christmas stuff. box or a jewelry box? That's pretty cool. This might end up in the booth. We do really well with little trinket boxes in the booth. If they're older. Look at that. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know if the mice he's got in there and that's mouth stuff, but that's different. A blank picture frame with, with the words in it, but that's a cool frame. Uh, some bubble wrap. Bubbly wrap. We might need that to put everything back. We have... Snowmen come from heaven unassembled. That's a cool, that's a cool thing. Uh, I'll agree with that. A welcome tile had a price tag on it of eight dollars. That's kind of cool. This kind of stuff sells in the booth too. This country cut kind of decor. All right, we got something wrapped up in a napkin. Okay, it's a little flower. All right, I'll bite. I don't know what that's for. The paper from that slab. These are. That's a cat toy. Made of rabbit's fur. 
That's actually made of rabbit fur. That is really cool. It's really soft. That's kind of neat. I don't know if anybody would want it, but it's neat. This is, uh, has the person's name on it, but it's a little bear. We have a dolly. Porcelain faced doll. Don't know what she is. She's like a bisque doll. Got her. And there's a lid to something, which is here's the bottom of it. Oh, it's a cat. Cat dish. See, something like that would go in the booth. It's a little cat thing. And what's this one? Ooh, this is heavy. Ooh, hey. That is kind of cool. Things remembered. It's got something written on it, but I can't. Oh. It's actually coming apart. These things here go on that. Those little plastic pieces actually go on there. That's kind of falling apart, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so that's that box. Kind of uneventful. There's a couple good things in there, but still, plenty of more flea market filler. I will get that bear checked out. I'll look into that. So, I'll be back with another box. All right, well, we're starting to gather up a lot of trash. Um, we have a lot of paper and plastic um, a lot of recycling to take the stuff in the truck right now is uh, stuff that's going to probably go to the flea basically what it's marked is what it is I mean this said kitchen on it and it's all kitchen stuff you can see in there it's all glassware um, so what I'm probably going to do I haven't decided yet if I'm going to set up at the flea market on Sunday or if I'm just going to take this stuff to the junk auction on Sunday. Um, Q's having a birthday party. His birthday was a little while ago, but he wanted to have it in the summer when his friends could be there after their vacations before school starts. So we're probably just going to take this stuff to the junk auction, drop it on a table, and be done with it. The amount of stuff that I am keeping is going to be way more than the $30 that... I have invested in it. I did find a bunch of Boyd's Bears, the bigger ones. I'm probably gonna keep those. And as you can see, we're kind of making a dent in here. Still have a lot to go. There's still a lot of totes, a lot of boxes. But what I'm thinking is I may probably just load all this in the trailer and just take a trailer load of stuff I might even get rid of some of this furniture this week and bust some of this stuff up and get my shed back empty so the next storage unit I buy I will be able to do what we're doing again and just kind of kick everything out and basically what we're doing is we're going through it we're finding what's cool what we like what we want to keep I mean this is pretty neat I don't think my wife has one of these yet and this is Pampered Chef. I'm going to probably use that on the grill. It's for sauteing your burgers. Uh, I picked out a couple mugs that I think she's going to want to keep that one. Um, this one is a Boyd's Bears when it's chipped, but this shows that they were a collector. We actually have these in the house. There's a pretty good sized Disney mug. I have a feeling she's going to keep that. And a blue Pyrex bowl. I'm hoping I can find the lid for it. If it comes with a lid. If not, uh, I'm going to talk to my buddy Mr. Stacks and see if that's actually worth anything. So yeah, we're going to keep plugging away. And if I come across any interesting boxes, I will pop back on here and tell you. 
but if it's more kitchen stuff I'm basically just going through it and figuring out what's going to stay and what's going to go you will get to see a general reveal at the end because the last part of this auction or this video this four parter is probably going to be wherever I sell the stuff so it'll either be a flea market auction or selling at the junk auction so one or the other we'll figure it out I'm going to keep plugging away I might be back with something cool never know we'll see all right I picked up this tote this one's not marked so are, we're going to open this one together this one is unmarked anywhere and it is taped shut it's got some weight to it so let's see what we can find in here finding a lot of melted candles that was a, I found a whole bunch of like melted candles and stuff so all right here we go and a three and a two and a one. Oh, hey now okay hopefully these are in here there's a willow tree box hopefully this is in it angel of hope And it's in there. Okay. Hopefully all of these are in here. Let's put Mr. Willow Tree down. That might actually, this might actually be a tote for the booth, baby. These are all Boyd's Bears collectibles. Sounds like they're in it. I'm going to put you back up here, but basically you can see... What is that? Rainforest Cafe. Okay. Here's another big box. Let's get... The, oh, I see Disney. What's that? Bacon. It says something on here. Henry Bassett. Lou Rankin. Oh, look at that. That's cool. That is pretty cool. All of these are in here. Wow. There's our 30 bucks. It's the best $30 locker I've had in a while. And there it is. Disney mug. I think I might actually set up at the flea. Because I think I'm going to do better there than if I take it to the junk auction. Pretty cool. 2000 Disney mug. I found a couple other Disney mugs throughout the other stuff. Here's a boy's bear, but no box. I found a Winnie the Pooh mug. A nice big coffee mug. I think this, this I think this one's cracked. Yeah, you can see right in there. That's cracked, so that's probably no good. We're gonna get rid of that one. Whew. Alright, so this is gonna go in the recycling. Let's go up here and see what we can, how many of these bears we actually have. Oh, don't want to do that. Go this way. I am back. We got one, two. It's a bigger one. He's in there. Make sure it's in there. It's in there. It's brand new in the packages. And these are numbered 45 of 1953. Now, from what I've been told by my lovely editor, who knows a, kind of about these collectible things, we looked at some of the Disney prints and she had seen a couple other things in there and she said that if, if they are what they call retired series, then they may be worth some pretty good bucks. Wow. All in this is special occasion edition. Ooh, what's this thing? Party light? I'm gonna guess this is candles. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna take her and take this one out. This is cool. Let's see if I can do it without breaking the box. Look at that candle. 
That is cool. That is really cool. The angel with the cherubs. That is wild. This, this locker has been an amazing score. These don't ever look like they've been displayed or anything. Well, this might have because the plastic is off. But I mean, they are in not chipped, perfect condition. And that's probably why she took the plastic off of this one because it's hard to get back in the box. But I mean, they are just, there is just, I will deal with this in a minute. Don't drop it. Put that right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's some bigger boxes in here, people. We have Musical New York City Glitter Dome. And she's in there. All the water's evaporated. Kind of looks like it's turned, too. That's a shame that all the water's evaporated. But still, might be worth a buck or two. We have Westland. What is Westland? And we have a Planet Hollywood. Let's do Planet Hollywood first, because I know what that is. That would be a glass. Oh, there's something in it. Super Bowl. And some more Disney pins. So yeah, we got that. That's kind of cool. I want to see what this Western thing is. This, this. Wow. Maybe Carousel Horse, people. Western Carousel Horse. It's a little janky. I think the pole was bent that the horse stands on. Yeah, this is this one's a little bit worse for wear. But that may not even be what it is. It might just be the box she stuck that in. Well, this is a family channel, but I have done a little digging on the previous owner of this unit and let us let us just say that it is not there is a lot of irony in the fact that the majority of these items were packed in a in liquor boxes um, this person will not be able to be contacted due to the fact that they are no longer free um, they are repeat offenders, and I believe that's why this unit went up for sale, is because there was no way that they could um, pay for the unit being incarcerated. So, um, yeah, this unit will not go back. I will not re-storage the love on this one. Sorry, Jeremy. Sorry, sorry guys. Um... They all know, a lot of the, I'm sure Jeremy knows that sometimes you can't, you can't win them all. And there will be units down the road that I will take their advice and I will restore the love and hopefully we can pick up a unit cheap enough that it will be feasible for us to just return all of the items to the homeowner or the person, depending on their story. You know, I mean, once you start doing the, the research and you find out who had this stuff, sometimes it makes you just want to help. But, you know, I got all this stuff out of this tote, and now I can't get all this stuff back into this tote. I don't, it wasn't packed this tight when I got it. I'm drowning here. Uh, that ain't going to work either. All right, I'm one short, so that'll stay out. Now, two of the other things that I found in here, the Asian thing that you saw yesterday was a writing set. And in our trinkets, we found an Asian um, game die. I actually just found the other one in another box, but I did find another 
stamp set with the little food dog see it's a stamp set and there's the ink so another cool score that was in a tote believe it or not of kitchen gadgets I don't know why but that's where it was so that'll go probably in our booth in the display case I got to look up the pricing of them I don't know what they're worth but okay that's gonna do it for now I'll be back in a bit all right as you can see we are slowly making progress I made a walkway back to here we still have all of this boxes and totes to go through plus a couple over here plus everything out there so um, the truck's starting to get full I am probably going to go through this little bit of stuff if I find something cool oh I do see something cool I can show you now let's move this to here I have a feeling I know a certain um, certain other youtuber that drives a big white van that may be interested in what's in here we have a lot of snapback hats this is a fire company Penridge Little League this is a Little League hat there's an old Phillies hat Flyers Disney Call Solution there's uh, another Flyers hat Bonton? Whoa, no way. We found a watch. Pretty cool. And a tie clip, number one dad. Oh, another one of those little Asian boxes, guys. Another one of those little Asian boxes. What could this one be? Wow. A little jade foo dog. That is cool. If that's real jade, those are a lot of money. That is cool. That is a neat little item. Pretty cool. Put that to the side. Flyer's jacket. This is in, it's in pretty rough shape. It's in pretty rough shape. I don't know if that would clean up. We have a Flyer's jersey. Blank. So you got a Flyers jersey. Um, another Flyers. This is, still has the price tag on it. Just a plain jersey. Oh, Flyers. Team issue. Shirt. And we got 3X. Ooh, that's big. Polo shirt another shirt um yeah so there's a couple things there for Poshmark um I'm gonna go through these boxes if I find anything cool I'll make a pile I'll show you later I'm getting tired I'm getting hungry um yeah so we're gonna keep plugging away stick around okay well my lovely editor informed me today that when she put part three of the storage unit auction together if i was to show you the rest of the reveal in the way that i had filmed it it would be over an hour long so we're going to cut that video in half which is going to make this the ending of part three um so that's so our numbers are going to kind of be off because i think on the next one i said this is the end of part three and it'll actually be part four but <sighs> maybe I'll have to redo some of that too but not a big deal um, unit turned out to be a lot more stuff than I anticipated which is awesome um, stay tuned for part 4 uh, part 5 which will be the actual selling of the unit and I think that's going to wrap it up for now I do have to do a another stupid dad joke and I'm gonna pull one off by the top of my head and my stupid dad joke for part three is now this 
Hmm. Okay, here it goes. How does a butcher introduce his wife? Meet Patty. Thanks for watching. Keep living that auction life. See you on the next installment. Have a good day. Bye.